Welcome back to the Artie Lang Show. Talking with uh, Jason Trusick from the Miami Dolphins, linebacker. So let's talk a little bit about the Super Bowl, man. Uh, you know, you're a defensive guy. Could could you see that coming? I mean, like the, the, them beating them that bad. I mean, dominating Peyton that bad. Uh, I didn't think it was going to be that bad, but uh, you know, some people ask who's going to win the game, and you know, I thought the Broncos. I thought you know they have a lot of weapons, and That's what I thought too. You know, yeah, Peyton just did. Ex- you know, phenomenal job throughout the whole season. But I said, if Seattle can get up early and that defense, it's tough to come back on defense. And right. when they went down at half, 24 nothing, or I think that was a score or was whatever. It either 22, 22 or 22, 22 nothing. Think, well, yeah. On the number one defense, I don't think you're going to come back from that. You're not going to score 20 some, 30 some points to come back on that. And that's, that's, that's tough. Did you play Peyton this year? I did not. Uh, have not. you played against him over the past uh, few uh, years? I don't remember if I played him in against Indy or not. But you know, just playing against guys like I mean, I played against Brady a million right, times. Right, right. To play against guys that just take over the game and just, uh, you know, the checks they make and the throws they can explain make. the it's, checks. Is that audible? You mean? Is that what yeah, I mean? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. You know, it's whether they come out, they see you know too high, they see an eight man box, they see one high, just things like that. They can check to a run or check. check I mean, there's, you know, it could be four or five plays in a. You know, right. in a call, so yeah. and then the snap count. So there's so much to go on throughout the play that they're so smart to change the play against all these, you know, looks. Right. There were there were plays in this game. There was one play in particular that sticks out in my mind where I felt like Peyton checked to a run um, when he had Cam Chancellor in the box, right? Which makes no sense at all. Right. Uh, there were times where Peyton looked like visible. You know, of course, the first play when the ball snapped over his head, yeah. he looked shaking. Yeah, at that no, point. When that yeah, happened in yeah. the Super Bowl, man, you go, whoa, that's yeah. a bad, <laughs> bad, bad there, omen. Bad there were yeah. points in, in that game where he, you know, he had guys just closing in around him. He was having to pat the ball, pat the ball, because guys weren't breaking open. And then he was making terrible throws. You know, the ball's sailing. He's yeah. throwing interceptions. There, there were times where he was so just, like, discombobulated. Even he was making mistakes. Yeah. Not just with throws, but with the... With his head, the, the X's and O's, and that, yeah. that's right. crazy. And yeah. I was, right. that's what blew me away. Right. Why in the world did you just check to a run, right well, to Cam Chancellor? Like you, he, everyone says, like it's 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 you know clockwork. If there's two deep and you have like a five man box, you're gonna check to the run. Right. Peyton Manning. One high. This is yeah. yeah. This is one high safety. Seven guys in the box. You have six guys to block them, and you just ran no Sean Moreno right into the teeth right. of that that was well, 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 that, well I think that they got away, away with that a little bit this year uh you know where they did run if a safety came down one way they might have ran it the other way so they did run against some eight boxes and stuff but uh yeah what's you know, an like eight you, box so I don't feel like a total idiot well <laughs> it's actually a term where it just means we say eight man box if you have more people on defense in the general area of the line of within scrimmage, it, yeah. okay then you have to block oh, all right. like even a lot of times it seems like even if it's six guys in the box uh, or, you know, seven guys in the box, you'll say an eight-man box just if it's a loaded box. Right. You know, you loaded more, to stop the run. you have more run. guys on offense than right. defense within the line of scrimmage that you can block for a run, okay. obviously you have too many defensive guys in the box. So what does a, what does a good quarterback do? He doesn't run at all on that. Right, they'll check right. to a pass. So, okay. But like you said with Peyton, uh, I think they just got to him so much. They, you know, with the – you know, the pass rush and that's the, pre- what, that's the pressure what out the middle. Peyton Manning is not a guy that can, you know, say scramble like, you know, obviously like Russell Wilson right. did or certain guys can. So when yeah. you get some pressure in his face, I think that really screwed up the his timing, his rhythm. I mean, he was getting the ball off in like, I think, two seconds all year. So yeah. when you can disrupt two seconds. That's tough. That's yeah. what was weird about the game. Right. Rarely do you see a Peyton Manning uh, type talent like a legendary guy like that, get that frazzled right. like, mentally. Like maybe physical stuff starts to break down, but you re- like the Bradys of the world in the yeah. old days, the Bradshaws and the Starbacks, right. and, and in basketball, the Jordans and the Birds and the Magic. You, you never see them get mentally screwed up. And he was he, he was playing like, he looked like a rookie. It I just, mean, you know. Yeah, it, everything came unraveled for him. And uh, there were times too, and I don't know if you saw this, I, mm-hmm. I felt maybe, maybe I was reading too much into it, but there were times when I was comparing these quarterbacks, Russell Wilson, maybe one or two throws early, sailed on him a little bit. But third downs, he was so nailed down. Yep. And there were a couple times when he just drove that ball in there. Yeah. You know, when he drove that ball with velocity, and Peyton can't do that anymore. Like, that is a, a serious 
hole in his game. Now, granted, he's had four neck surgeries, right. and he's still, you know, got nerve deficiency in his throwing arm. But that it was glaring to me at times the the arm strength discrepancy between those right. quarterbacks. I think that, you know, I think the whole game went into it. And I know some people have made comments like that before about Peyton Manning. But I think, like yeah. you said, with once you started that pass rush up the middle, I mean, for at that age, I mean, it doesn't even matter age, but I know quarterbacks get flustered. You start getting some pressure up in the middle, he can't step up. You know, you're going to start yeah. thinking about that follow through real quick. You don't <laughs> yeah. want to break a hand, yeah. you know, things like that. Yeah. So, I mean, you'll start thinking about that, not yeah. saying he doesn't have the arm strength or he does, but. You know, you're getting some guys up in your face. You're going to think twice about following through, so you get those passes that sail or, you know, that well, can't that get there. That, that interception to Chancellor, man, it just sailed. It's oh, so it rare sailed. you see Peyton. Yeah, it sailed. Like, right. Right. Chancellor was surprised he had it. Right. Like, he was like, whoa, did, did yeah. Peyton Manning just throw it directly to the right. Right. Uh, You know, the one thing that was hilarious was, listen, I mean, if you're a guy's guy and you're a Bronco fan, it's 22 nothing. you're getting killed. It's halftime. You traveled from Denver. You went through four hours of security to get in the game. You're losing 22 nothing. The last thing you want to hear is a Bruno Mars song. That's the last <laughs> thing. <laughs> Bronco fans were like this when he was singing. Really? Yeah, good song! <laughs> <laughs> is that the last thing you want to hear? And now Bruno Mars! <laughs> yeah. A little falsetto. Yeah, uh, well, yeah. Uh, you know, I just wanted to see a good game because I'm not gambling anymore, and I, I, the Giants weren't, and I wanted to see a good game. I think we all felt like it was going to be one for the ages. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I thought it would go down to the wire. Right. Certainly. Well, I think even we at, you know, wrong. whatever, 22 nothing. I think even at halftime, you people still think still Payne thought, can come back, know, yeah. Payne can come back. Right. He's come back from, I think, whatever, 20 or 24 deficit. Yeah. So you think there's still a chance, but... I mean, that defense, just the way they flew around. And 20, it was 29 plays. nothing in the blink of an eye. Right. And, yeah. uh, you know, and Before you, get, you know, it's kind of over after that. It, and then after that, it was over. Because, uh, well, there's some odd plays. Like, I mean, you got, we got to take a break. But think about this, because I want to get you guys' reaction, because you know better than me. Fox, a couple of the calls, it was third quarter, 29 nothing. It's third and 14, and the Broncos run a draw play. Yeah. And what, what, what the hell is that? I, think I mean, that it's must like, have been one of the, you know, automatics. Like, we... Peyton saw a look that was just too, too perfect to run on. Yeah. Uh -huh. So he had to get. I think into sometimes it. with the coverage, uh, just real quick, you know, you see, say third and fourteen, you think they're going to drop some more, and right. you know, you're trying to maybe end of the game, you're maybe trying to pick up at least half, so you're cutting that third and fourteen to maybe like, yeah. hey, maybe we'll go fourth and five, or just pick up better field position, we'll yeah. nine yards, right, and we'll right. take a, you know, fourth and five shots better than a. You know, fourth and fourteen. If we take yeah. a long shot and miss, oh, okay. You know, so I don't know if that. You no, know, that's a good idea. I, I, so that it, make, cut, it cuts down. That the makes chances. sense, right? I'm right, gonna take a break and come back uh, with more after this. Welcome back to the Artie Lang Show. Talking to Jason Chesnick of the uh, Miami Dolphins about the Super Bowl and. So uh, what's it looking like? What's your future looking like? You're psyched about next year? You, I mean, you guys seem to be, you know, on the on the upswing, right? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm signed through one more year. Uh, but this year, we just had a chance. We had to win out one, you know, two games. We lost to the Bills and lost to the Jets. We win one of those games. You know, we're in the chance in the playoffs. And, you know, as we know, the playoffs, anything can happen. Right. So, uh, you know, we got a good young quarterback in Tannehill. Uh, I think our defense is rising. And, yeah. you know, people are still growing under uh, – you know, our coach, so. He seems like a solid guy, Philbin, right? I mean. Like, I, I think he does. He, yeah. you know, has fun. I think this league, you got to have fun. Because, you know, you don't want to have someone that can just come in here and control the whole system. But, mm -hmm. you know, guys do want some leadership. Guys do want a little bit of control. But at the same time, you know, you've got to have fun with it. So there's that give and take. And, uh, you know, I like where it's going so far. I think he's done a good job. Uh, but, you know, this league's all about production, and we got to get some wins and get to these playoffs. Uh, yeah. Do you think that uh, Jeff Ireland was kind of the scapegoat for the whole uh, it's Martin tough. Martin incognito thing. Uh, I'm not too sure because I think I think through him and Philbin, I think we did do a good job through the whole thing. I mean, we came through strong yeah. at the end. Obviously, we didn't get to the playoffs where we wanted to be. I thought you guys did an amazing job. Uh, so I think, you know, but being not in the playoffs for a long time and not winning the AFC, uh, you, know, in a, you know, a while, I think there's – got to be a change somewhere. Yeah. Somebody's got to you know, take a fall. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Two years in. and With all that stuff going on. You know, on. so yeah. it's, un it's unfortunate that, you know, I like Jeff. I thought he was a good guy. and uh, He'll always you know, work that so, guy. Yeah, so we'll see what happens. Yeah. He'll, he'll always so. find work, that guy. He's, he's yeah. good at what he does. Real right. quick, uh, we just got a minute left. Uh, name two uh, two bigger jerk-offs than uh, <laughs> Chad Ochocinco. 
Two bigger jerk. I mean, are there two bigger jerk offs? Is my point. Probably, you probably can't do it, right? I'm gonna be here for a while thinking about it. <laughs> enough said. Enough said. <laughs> No, no but, uh, well, I, I'm, I'm, I'm kidding. No, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> when he when he comes on, you know, great, great player, but he was, you know, part of the. It was out of distraction when a guy like that comes in. When he's a superstar, but you know, he changed his name to a number. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, it's tough because you know he is a good player, but you know he has that you know comedy to him, that comedy yeah. side. So it's well, he became a joke, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. it's it's tough to find the uh, you know where the serious uh, you know line is with him. So it is uh, you know that's him, yeah. I guess. Jaden, I appreciate you coming in, man. We wish you the best of luck. All right? I, I appreciate you guys having yeah. me. Come and, back anytime. Hey, we'll talk anytime. to us again. We'll... Yeah, Jason Trusnick and the Dolphins. Good luck. Yeah, back after appreciate this. It. The Artie Lang Show, weeknights on Audience, only on Directv.